Spets and Steve are the only two men that I know that have pepper grains on their cheeks. Scribs being back from Amsterdam, is that good news? Or what would, you, what would you say? What's your opinion? Personally, I don't really care. I heard he went to Amsterdam to get his tooth fixed. That's what I heard. I heard the dentist here was a bit too expensive. So he said, yo, take an easy coach, because EasyJet do coaches now. Easy coach, straight to dam and get a root canal. Man actually added me, asking me if I went to dam. Like, I was talking about Arsenal. I'm like, shut up, you can't talk. You went to dam on a, on a boat. <laughs> like, they probably thought like, oh shit, they, they've got me. What do you get back? <laughs> like five minutes ago. What do you get back? Apparently the same coach. Done that. You know, like you have exchange flights, he had an exchange coach. And if you had it in Larkers, I noticed that he's got a shape up. From he, Dam? Yeah, he got a shape up in Dam. And he said to me, yeah, I've got a shape up specs, but I don't shape the front. So I was like, then you haven't got a shape up then. Poet was doing wild maths, bro. Like, Poet, Poet and maths is an oxymoron. That's like Steve Owen Hairline. He done a lot. He done a lot of equations and math, mathematics you and all of you that. You can't do them, fam. And I'm then telling you. They lost. Yeah. Two goals down in, in 14 minutes. This win, yeah, I'm so happy we won because if we lost, Poet would have been beating off my phone talking about, oh, we're better than you, cuz. We're better than you. One point. Look, oh, oh, you're an if man, bro. That's what happens when you start playing all them internet songs for too long. You start getting, you know, confused and mixed up. Poet's addition uh, was just shocking. Just shows how Jamaicans are never good at maths. They're just fast at running. What Paul, what Paul was doing last week, that was not quick maths. It was, it was terrible. And um, I think the whole egg on his face should taste ridiculous this week because it's just, he looks stupid. This if button, maybe. If, if we win it, they uh, lose too. I said, bro, I said it to him right there and then. I said, mm. take it game by game, yeah, Kyle Stewart. Yeah, come on, man. Wasn't having none of it. Big man, poet, has never done maths. I helped poet get into college. Imagine Poet's my older cousin and I went college with him and done his test. Because I was so young, the teacher didn't mind me being in there and sitting with my older cousin. And when the teacher left, I'd done all the questions. Ask Poet, I'd done his English test, I'd done his maths test. These times I'm like eight, nine years old. You're a big uh, if, man. If, you know. I know. You're a big if, man. I'm not having it. We won. We won. And Lingard milli rocked in your house. I'll be honest to you, I've got to admit, like, it did seem like the old Arsenal United games that we used to see back in the day. It had that old feel about it, like, man, you have come. Remember like when Ronaldo scored that dumb free kick from that weird angle? You remember that, from that distance? Yeah, yeah. It felt like that kind of atmosphere. Mm. I can't take the fact that everybody keeps talking about who deserved to win. Paul thinks Arsenal deserve to win. Specs thinks Arsenal deserve to win. I think you lot should go to the who deserve to win league and ask them for three points. Because out here, Man United got the real three the points. Three goals league. and three points. That's, what, that, that's where they should be a go. New league, yeah, man. Who deserve to win? Who deserves to win to be top? Proper done a job on them, man. It was like watching the old Man United. You must be buzzing. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Me, personally, that felt like the old United. Like, we went there. We had the game plan. Within the 11 min first 11 minutes, the game plan was executed. Mm -hmm. Game over. All we had to do is damage limitation. Man, just to soak up the pressure. Like, Jose won within the first 11 minutes of that match. Talk to me, cuz. Talk on. I'm just depressed, because I know this episode... I'm, <sighs> I'm just going to get I know they're fired. They're coming for me. No, they come for me, bro. And there's nothing I can do. Like, no matter they what I say, bro. We're talking real reckless in the <laughs> Oh, my God. I thought Arsenal were amazing. And when I see Arsenal playing like that, that's when I say to myself, like what I said with you on the first day of the season, we can win the league. United were rapid on the counter-attack. We didn't actually need to get in Arsenal's faces. We just needed to let them have the ball, which we did. Have the I ball. call it a tactical masterclass from Jose Mourinho. And Arsenal just had to, have, they had to chase the rest of the game for 80 minutes. They did pepper you lot after. Depends what kind of pepper. Are you talking about black people, Jamaican, seasoning pepper? Or are you talking about white people pepper? No, I'd say they took it up to a Jamaican seasoning. Not, not, not Indian. No, not, not. I'd say a bit of Fernando's. Mm. No, man, 38, 38 attempts. 38? Yes. 33. You got the stats today, Yeah, you? 33. So they only have three clear-cut ch chances. Fam, I, you see, I came in, I said a little thing, and the boat was booting off. <laughs> and I said, like, ah, cool, let me just come out of here, cuz. Bruv, he hasn't even said that much since his wedding. He didn't even say anything at his fucking wedding. He I didn't even it. say nothing at his wedding, cuz. He didn't even say thank you to the guests. Nothing. No, nothing. And, and the then... guests had to pay for their food. That was ridiculous. It was David De Gea of the Arsenal. But... It did have that old school feel to it. And I, I bro, as, a, as a neutral, I enjoyed watching it, fam. You got away with it. Tell with me that how. tactic, with that tactic, you got away with it. How? Because you were scrambling, bro. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't, can I say something? Usually, that tactic that you implement against other teams, if you are to implement it, it will work. It will work like a charm. Do you know why? Yeah, hold on, it will work like a charm, because you're not defensive. You're, statistically, you're the best in the league. However, it was very panicky. 
It was very all over the place. It was very shambolic. And to be honest, I feel like you did get away with it. So these Man United guys have come I'm in saying, no. ready. Like, at the end of the day, if you want to come with your stats, on, be specific. Arsenal had 33 chances. Cool. De Gea made, what, 13 saves? So if you take away those saves, you still have like 15 chances left. My maths is off. Been around poet too long. But you know what I'm trying to say. Well at the end of the day, go and tell me what it is then. With that 33, he saved 15. Like 30, 14. 14. Then that means he's left with 16. So I said 15 and it's well off. Even though you said one number above me. He's it's just it. awful. You keep running your mouth, cuz. I'll run you off the show. I have that power. Wow. You get me? Fucking prick. Don't fam. let me gas him up, cuz, because you'll be off real quick. Real quick, fam. And I'll keep you in the group. Just to make you feel you a part me? of it. Like the WhatsApp group, you can stay. But as for the live show, you can be like Ross or Snips. Take your pick. And that's discrimination because they're two white people. Let's throw oh, some black Vooj. people off. I know you ain't going to back it, but oh, Vooj. Vooj is black. Vooj is black though, so. I, I, I don't know why people think this is a job, but for me, Jesse Lingard is a disgrace to all my people. I mean... The dance moves. It's never just a dance move. Look what's going on in Libya. I know. Why are you going to come Emirates and do that? Let me see your best milli bro. Oh, you're not going to see Can me. I try it? Just yeah. try it. You want me to they try might kill me, you, but just do it. I'm going to be killed. Just I, try I, it. I don't know how to... No? Yeah? No? See? Now, my point is... Right, now Ross can milli <laughs> That's why we have to give Lingard his props, because it's not easy. Ouch. Looks like a pound in yam. That's it. Shoulder, shoulder. Yeah, you're a bit old. Wowza. Fan. That was wild still. Jesse Lingard is fucking mini rocking at the Emirates. That's the Steeds now. And he tweeted it. And he tweeted it. And the Millie Rock was good, so that's a big L. Oh yeah, my big. god. I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna try and front. <laughs> the Millie Rock, yeah, had me. I was wanting I was wanting to <laughs> The goal, if I don't know I don't know if you watched the game hat, but the goal hit the net and the ball came out. Like it was a, a goal scored in a cage in Ferry Lane or something. Yeah, like them old school little pitches that they build in like council states. It's a joke. The only reason I'm gonna rate it is because he took Arsenal for Ipswich away. If you're doing if this is the Champions League final and man are going mad, or it's the World Cup final and he scored a goal, he's not Millie Rocking. He's going wild on the pitch. Can't lie, fam. But for Arsenal, it's kinda like, oh, let me just go in, in front of their fans, always oh, in front of our fans, and just dance. A man, he took it, it was nothing. He actually didn't respect Arsenal. That's the only reason I'm rating Jesse. Someone but did say, where was the white people when they were trying to do the Millie Rock? They did us say. This is what I'm saying, this is you know your strengths, isn't it? That's good, that's true. So, I heard it because it was a sprint to the corner flag, the white people were laughing. Are you allowed this race since uh, I'm on the show? This is unlike you. No, I've got white kids. Oh yeah, are you allowed, innit? So then how comes it works for um, black people but it don't work for white people? If a white man wants to say, oh, I've got black kids, he can't be racist. Well, they do, but that's behind I know those what doors. It, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> the Millie Rock was so smooth <laughs> and crisp. At the same time, I was like, get me! He scored, I was like, I swear! Because it was cold. <laughs> but you know what's the so bad? Went, the bull went boom, boom, and he just dusts. And I was like, oh my God. Me, Scribs and Bolt have been arguing all day because they think they tactically outclass Arsenal. No, we gave you those goals. We gave you every single goal. The first goal, because Shioni, don't know what you're doing. Trying to pass to, the, to Wenger. Don't know what you're, I don't know what you're trying to do there. Second goal, obviously, Mustafi just dwelling, trying to pick up the ball. The third goal, that prick Sanchez. But what when I see one of your dogs? Someone's getting gripped up. But... So you said in the WhatsApp group that Tactics won the game. Yeah. Explain yourself. Right. So, I'm only explaining to you because we're cool. United slapped Arsenal, so I don't need to explain myself to them. However, mm -hmm. Tactic, sit off Arsenal, let them have the ball because they're better than us at balling. Yeah. Hit them on the counter. I'll be so real with you. I'm a realist as a United fan. United, for me, personally, looking at the teams that are going to be fielded with Herrera in the middle, of our midfield, we have no chance against City. No chance. Yeah, no chance. You think we can hold out um, City like we hold out Arsenal? It's not happening, bro. No chance. They've got, they, they're, they're one of the best sides in Europe. Mistakes. Like what Bolt is. Bolt. You know when your parents didn't mean to have a child, but they had one anyway? A mistake. That is what happened at Arsenal three times. Bolt. Mistakes. That's all that happened. It wasn't, there was no tactics about it. There's no tactics you prepare there, for. There were no tactics. The game was end to end, cuz. What tactics was there? But try to explain that to them fucking pricks, fam. Personally, and this is coming from a Spurs fan as well, I, I feel like that's a load of bollocks, to be fair, because oh, oh, tactically, without oh. David De Gea, I mean, did, did, did Mourinho say to David De Gea tactically to save that many shots? It looked for me, as a Spurs fan, sitting away from the fucking the whole thing. I'm, the, I'm a neutral fan, so there was no tactics there. 
you know, it's the old cliche. He's not that type of player, which he's not. He's not nasty. Never seen Pogba do anything nasty since he's joined mm. United. It was a red card, man. It was yeah, a, it red, was a card. red card. Yeah, like it's not. The, the only thing funny about that is Bayern is a funny man. He looked like he was kneeling down to propose to Pogba, and like I don't know. I just I didn't I didn't agree with his stance on that. Maybe Pogba got annoyed at him, and that's why he stamped on him. I don't know. I but, know what happened though. But you, I, I'll be real. It was a red card. I know I, why. I, I know why. Me. What happened? Tell me. He had a haircut appointment. Firstly, in my whole entire life. I have never seen someone go to tackle a man like this. What is that? That was a red card. Obviously, we don't really chat about that. That's that a, a red card. card. I don't know what Bellerin was doing. Him, to be honest, but yeah, it's a red card. Why did he do it? You're winning 3-1. I don't know what Bellerin was doing. What do you mean? Like, man's doing that like it's cricket, fam. He's got mental issues, fam, because that tackle's disgusting, fam. You don't do that. You don't do that to any of your... Pro the professionals, innit? Mm. They're all bredgings at the same time. Like, not like in that sense, but... It's a job, bruv. Like, yeah, you could end man's career. Like, as much as, like, listen, it's Arsenal footballer, so for mm. me just to witness that, I should be like, yes, boom. Nah, man, like, that's nasty. And that's the part of Pogba that I can't... I, I get to that level where I want to like Pogba, mm. and then he does something dumb again. It, it wasn't a red card, man. You don't think it was a red card? No, I, I, Are you I, just going to say something dumb now? No, Go no, 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 no. Honestly, I think Bellamy should have got sent off. Going in for a tackle like that is atrocious. I feel like you should get a yellow card just for being foolish. To be fair, is that not dangerous play? Or obstruction well, or something? Of course it is! Mm. Like, if... If I'm running towards you, and you go like that, on the what am I supposed to do? You man ain't winning the league, so how about that? Okay. Yeah, so that's where you're going to do. You're not going to so win the could, league. You man can gloat on this one. Are you? you want. Are you? You man. And guess who you man are going to lose it to? Lee. <laughs> Lee. Lee, are you? Are you winning the league, Lee? No, but we ain't losing it to our arch rival, so just sit down, and have some. The curse of, of, of the book, the Pochettino book. Why has Pochettino the leaflet. got a book? It's a leaflet, isn't it? I know it's a leaflet. It's not going to be that thick, because what has he got to write about? First of all, it's not Pochettino's book. It's, it's Gillian Belegue's book. He wrote the book on Pochettino saying, Mitch, Brave New World, Mitch, 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 Mitch. Pochettino in Spurs. Mitch, 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 pause. What the fuck is Gillian Belegue? What's his name? Gillian Belegue, bro. Whatever his name is. I don't know what's going on, but the Tottenham, there's a myth over at Tottenham that Poch is this god, right? Mm. And for me, I judge by trophies. Mm. He's not got no trophies. No, not so one. So the fact that he's gone and written a book, or Gilliam, Gilliam Balian. From who is this Gilliam Balian person? He's a Spanish correspondent. He's very good. What does that mean? But Poch. What does that mean? What does a Spanish correspondent mean? He just corresponds all the Spanish football stuff. Fergie is stone cold and Poch is like Kurt Angle. That's why. Simple. Kurt, what does that mean? Kurt Angle's annoying. He's good, but he like, it's, it's annoying you like. You don't want him to be good. But you know what it is? He's got to so read his thing, and he's gonna. He will win something soon, but. But then, what, isn't that when you would want to read the book? Sanchez is out now. He's fucking red card straight away. He's out for free game. Toby all the world's hamstring dies. Danny Rose, he's got depression. We've lost the best left back in the league. Trippier don't know what he's doing either. Oriers a crackhead. He wants to fight people. The squad's dying, bro. Eriksson, where's where the fuck are you, G? You're still in Denmark, cuz. Come back. Where's, where is he? <laughs> Potts, you're not even in Spain. What's going on? He's just trying to get, he's just trying to, oh, he's trying to get bro, a bag. He's trying man. to get a bag, fam. He's trying to cash a check. But fam... And it's ex extracts and stuff I'm not going like to lie to you. I've, it's just Tottenham. Tottenham are just, they're not good enough. They they're all above their stations. The fans, the chair. Everyone, they're gassed. The, the, the manager. Mitch, Mitch was as well, but now you've noticed Mitch has got rid of oh, the stupid moustache. Yeah, he's down. got rid of the stupid moustache. Spex has showed him up on You Lot Show. And now he's just humbled.